So today we have a 83 Series 5 on the bench, and it doesn't really have any issues other than some stains on the screen, and whenever I bought it, I actually thought that they may have even left the original screen protector on the clear lens, but whenever I got it in, it's actually the little, I believe it's a polarizing film on the screen so we're gonna go ahead and remove that and try to see if what the screen looks like without it and whether or not we need to actually replace this I'm just gonna take my razor knife and very carefully just come along this edge here and I'm just gonna kinda of start opening it up and once I've got it worked a little bit We'll actually take the tweezers and see if we can just peel it off. We may warm this up a little bit with the heat gun. It almost feels like there's a little lip or something in there that the knife hits on the way in. So, here we go. We got under a corner. Oh, there's the screen. Let's give it a little bit of heat. I'm going to stay a good way away from it with the heat gun. I'm just trying to get a little bit of warmth on there to kind of help soften that glue up a little bit. I want it to be where I can actually comfortably touch it with my hand for about a second. And we're just going to try to get that glue nice and warmed up. get the feeling that move, removing this polarizing film is not going to let our letter show up, but you can replace it. Clean the screen up some. Okay, so just to kind of illustrate why you need this polarizing film on this meter, I just want to kind of show you real quick the difference. The meter is actually on and it is actually displaying numbers, but I can't see it. The camera can't see it. But if we put this polarizing film on there, there it is, perfectly displayed. So we're going to try to locate some of this stuff. If not, I do have um, some original series 87 meters that one of them is uh, for salvage parts I'll swap it out with that one I believe the screens are the same we will have to kind of check that out but I'm really hoping to actually find this film pretty easily so that we can actually see a fix on this meter that anybody can do so I'm gonna try to locate that and the next time you see this meter that should be the repair Thank you. Alright, so today we've got the polarizing screen in. 
and I figured we kind of go through a couple of things to look for whenever you're changing these. Now, the first thing is, I tried to get one with the adhesive on it, but whenever I got it, I discovered that, and this is actually very common, the adhesive is on the wrong side. This is when I first got this stuff in, it was a cell phone sized piece of polarizer screen. And I went ahead and cut it, thinking that I just got to cut it and stick it on, right? Well, it turns out that after I had this issue and I went and I researched, a pretty common problem is that a lot of people do get these cell phone LCD polarizers to fix these LCD screens, but the adhesive is actually on the wrong side. And luckily for us, on the 80 series meters, there are there is a, a way around that that's a little cheesy, but it actually works really well. And there are other options. You can get a um, clear optical adhesives and films with no adhesive on it and actually glue it yourself so you can pick which side works best but whenever I cut it and first put it on there the first issue that I had was that you can see maybe it's actually a little bit too narrow just a little and that actually wouldn't have hurt any of the digits that we're seeing but it would have bothered me and also another issue is that you can maybe see right now the meter is actually on you could see a, maybe a little bit of digit twitch in there but the background is actually rather than being the white with black letters for lack of a better term I really don't know what you would call that it's actually reversed. It's black with white letters, which looks cool, but is extremely difficult to see. So this is with the adhesive out, which you can see is actually much better. But if we spin this one way or the other, you can see that the digits actually become very clear and it actually is going to take about a 45 degree angle across the normal square of this polarizing film in order for us to get our clearest picture which I may have it backwards so what I'm going to do right now is actually find the clearest spot and this will actually work out because I can catch just about everything that I want to catch inside of this diagonal so that was kind of a lucky break but we're gonna go ahead and mark just kind of where the very outside not of the screen is but actually of the clip that holds the screen in and this is just going to be a little bit of a guide for us whenever we go to do our actual cutting lines and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little X or an arrow right here so I know that this is up with a U maybe that looks good and now we'll get into actually cutting it to size and of all the things I have up here I don't have scissors so once we get it laid out I'm actually gonna have to go cut it downstairs but everybody's used scissors before right if I have to make a video on using scissors I'm probably gonna quit YouTube now we'll go and we'll set our screen kind of back where we had it in between these lines We want to try to get as much coverage on there as we can. That should be pretty close. Okay, now we're going to very, very gently hold the back of the screen down and draw 
or lines all the way across. Now, when I go to cut this, I'm not going to cut the line in half. I'm actually going to go on the inside of the line and even have just the tiniest little bit of gap. You know, I'm trying to cut this a little bit smaller because of the way that it has to set in there. It needs to be smaller than the screen. And I've already got my trace lines are already a little bit larger because whenever you trace something out with a marker that doesn't have a extra extra fine tip this one's actually kind of dull you get a little bit of offset on your lines so I'm gonna go cut this and I'll be right okay, back. so we've got it cut to size I know it looks really really odd um, I did actually leave a little tab on the triangle drop that said up just so I could remember which way it goes and I'll just I'm gonna clip that later with my flush cutters but we're gonna just do a little a little check to see how our fit is and it really it doesn't look bad we've got just a little bit of relief here and here which shouldn't affect any of our digits um, we are a little bit smaller than the screen which is what I wanted I may actually come back and trim a little off of the side here because it does it we are a little bit wide okay so let me go ahead and make one more trim on that that looks like that might be just what we're looking for okay so before we do anything else we're actually gonna clean stuff just going to take some isopropyl alcohol. This is 91%. And we're just going to wipe this off. Alcohol makes a really great solvent because it really, there's a lot of stuff that it just won't damage, but it takes off everything you want to take off. It was a very precise application. So I've got the adhesive side of the film actually wiped down and clean. And I'm going to save the other side just because I'm going to be handling it so it doesn't do me any good to try to keep it clean but I'm just gonna take my flush cutters and nip off that last little tab and now we'll actually use the screen retainer to hold the tension that we need on that screen and we may have to come back and trim the screen a little bit Trim the film. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean up the outside of the film. All right, so we've got our film replaced let's see how it looks it's actually on backwards or upside down 
So we got something confused. Let's see what we messed up. Okay. Okay, so no big deal there. I actually had mistakenly flipped it the wrong way around. But as you can see, the screen actually looks really good. I do have just the smallest little bit showing right here in this corner. But nothing happens in that corner. But it's probably going to end up bothering me. So I think I will eventually redo this repair. And we'll do it properly with a clear optical adhesive, a polarizing film that has no adhesive on it, cut it to the correct size. Uh, we may actually use the old film as a template if we can flatten it out, but that's the reason I didn't use it as a template this time was because just to try to push down on it and try to get it perfectly flat and draw around by the time I cut everything out, it was just simpler to use the actual screen especially since it wasn't going to be glued on there and I just I wanted it tight to where it didn't wiggle around a whole lot but for now we'll put the meter back together we'll use it um, I'm pretty excited about having a 83 3 series meter this is actually the first 3 series meter that I've ever messed with and I really I already like the 83 original series we'll go through this meter one day, talk about the differences between them and you know it's kind of an in-between so we can look at maybe compare it a little bit to the 87.5 but mostly comparing it to the 83 and just playing around with it. I think this is going to be a really good bench meter. Just on a note to in this video, uh, like I said we are going to do a comparison of the 83 against the 83 3 series. After that video is made, the 83 will go on eBay because I just, quite frankly, won't need it. And I'm looking to start getting rid of a few meters. I have way more than I need. And I want to start kind of getting these projects out of the door for, number one, to make room on my bench. And number two, so that I can actually continue purchasing other meters. And number three, I really want to kind of pass on, you know, these repair meters to someone who can really use them. Uh, it does me no good for it to be sitting here collecting dust. You know, I would feel much better having repaired this and gotten it to a really good home. So uh, whenever we do the comparison video, I will most likely have a link to eBay in the description to this meter. It won't come with the gray holster because I, re I really like the gray holster a lot. So I'll be putting that on the 83.3 series. It will come with this holster or I may go through and see if I have one in a little bit better shape. This one's honestly not in bad shape. But anyways, look for that in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I will see y'all later.